This video is brought to you by premiumbeat.com. I hope everyone is doing well and everyone is safe. We have a very awesome tutorial today because we're gonna be creating some abstract backgrounds which are marble gradient backgrounds. It's really awesome and easy to do. Hey, what's going on internet? This is Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. Welcome to our channel. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button. So I'm always looking for small and unique techniques just to improve uh, my graphics. Always looking for like a 1% improvement every single day. And come across this technique which is marble backgrounds with a gradient style behind it. And, you know, it tastes just like vanilla cake, you know, it's great. But it's a quick tutorial, we'll go ahead and jump into it. But before we do that, I wanna say thank you to premiumbeat.com for sponsoring this video. Premium Beat is a royalty-free music provider for your creative video and motion graphic projects. They have an incredible music library with thousands of songs to choose from, and Premium Beat has been my go-to in finding soundtracks for the last few years because of how easy it is to find great soundtracks that fit my projects. So for your next video project, be sure to check out premiumbeat.com for your royalty-free music. All right, so here we are. We're gonna jump over to our blank composition. We have nothing in here. So we'll go to Layer New Solid. And just doesn't matter what you call it, click OK. Then let's go to Effect, Noise and Grain, and let's grab Fractal Noise. And we can set Basic to like Dynamic, Progressive, or whatever. And we set our Complexity down to like 1. And then we come here to say Evolution. I'll click the Stopwatch and type in Time, Asterisk, 100. And you know, that's cool. Then when we're done here, what we'll do is just grab this layer, go to Layer, Pre-Compose, and we'll just call it Noise. Let's go to Effect, Distort, and then we're going to grab Liquify. Alright, this is where the effect comes to life, and this is a slow effect render. So, uh, it's just going to take a little bit of time to render this, and what I suggest doing is bring this down to quarter quality, just so this process is quicker. Uh, we'll go ahead and open up the Warp Tool options, and we can just increase the brush size. There's that. Awesome. And then also increase the brush pressure to 100, and this will allow us to affect this a little bit quicker. And... All you're going to want to do here is just go around and distort the image. It's really easy to do this, you know, just trying to create a unique look here. So after you use that tool a little bit, there's some other tools we can take a look at here, like some of the twist tools here. We can kind of just create some interesting uh, different uh, angles to this. It's all random, so you're essentially like creating like a Jackson Pollock painting here, you know? You just want to be completely abstract with it and random up until you know the cookie dough is ready to go and if there's any like clipping that you're going to do just go ahead and bring get that first tool there and just you know bring it downward and get it out of there you know that way everything will look okay all right so when you have a good base in here what we're going to want to do is come here to their first frame and click the stopwatch for distortion mesh then we can move forward here for however long you want this to be. I suggest just knowing exactly what you, how long you want this to be so the render time is a lot quicker. So like I'm just going to do 4 seconds and we'll just move this around. You know, we'll just go ahead and animate this if you will. And you want to obviously just move specific parts of the background uh, over, you know, just so we can have some level of animation on top of our noise animation. Okay, so obviously more details you put into this, the better it's going to be. So all we have here is a black and white image and we'll work on this. So let's go ahead and go back into that composition. And we grab our layer here and go to Effect, Color Correction, Tint. And from here we can change both of these colors to whatever color we want to set these to. So if you want to do like a you know, yellow, that's cool. And you want to set your white color to like another you know, color here, that's totally cool as well. You know, click OK. We go back into our main composition and it automatically updates. This by itself is pretty cool. It's going to be animated as well, but we're not done here because I do not like how simple this looks. So we'll go back into our other composition, back into the noise composition, and we'll go up to Layer New Solid. And we'll just call this Brush. Awesome. And we'll come here to the brush tool here at the top, which I hardly ever use this tool. Like, honestly, this is probably like the first legitimate time I'm using this other than for roto brush. And we'll just grab like a nice soft brush. You know, you can change the diameter, diameter, go to the paint tab, make sure this is set to black. All right. Double click your solid layer. And now you can kind of just create a random line, you know, just some random shape. So you could do some, you know what? I have an idea. There you go. You can draw a smiley face if you want. 
You know, he looks pretty happy. Maybe we'll just do another one. There you are. Maybe we'll do like an upside frown. There you go. Actually, I don't know if that one is, but you know, we have some friends there. Then make sure you check on paint on transparent. Click on composition and there it is. Kind of ridiculous, but you know, whatever. Then we'll go to effect, generate, fill. And we can grab like a darker version of either of those colors you picked. So I'll do like a dark blue here, click OK. Go back into our main composition and now you get some extra styling in here and you know it's all about those initial colors that you pick there so if we change the color palette and I go back into this composition you see that you get a completely different perspective of how your distortion is gonna work out you know you can get something just like this so if I want to go back in here and just add even more brush to this I can easily do that so if I want to come here and just you know add even more to this this will actually add even you know more detail into it um, and then you get some really awesome looks with the paintbrush technique and you get this nice marbly gradient background that is animated I'm not gonna render it because obviously it takes a little bit of time like a four second render of this would take me about five minutes to export um, which really isn't that bad when you compare it to like the world of 3d with you know you can wait like days for an export but this is totally fine but this technique is really awesome you can get some really cool techniques with this effect of course if you watch our videos i gotta give a shout out to our motion graphic starter pack and this title and all these accent motion graphics are from our uh, motion graphic starter pack which is really easy to use so for example uh, we have over 500 elements in here ranging from titles logo animations transitions uh and more and we can come here to our like a regular titles template and we can find a title that works we have over 100 titles in here and if i want like a say a simple title like this i click on apply and it automatically applies a title template to our composition and i can easily change out any colors that i need to change out and easily update our text and then obviously any other parameters i need to update that's no big deal either and now with a click of a button we have a very simple title animation here and then we take a look at say our accent motion graphics and apply some of our clusters in here which is this bad boy right here and it just adds a nice level of detail to our composition really quick and this is all in our motion graphic starter pack aimed to help you produce amazing work with a few clicks of a button and of course help you save a ton of time so if you want to check out our motion graphic starter pack that link will be in the description and if you do pick up our motion graphic starter pack you will be supporting our channel so thank you very much so that's Ross of our tutorial on creating this awesome marble style background technique you know just another technique for your toolkit so i hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful if you're new here be sure to hit that subscribe button because we produce multiple post-production tutorials every single week right here on the channel you can also hit me up on my social media networks those links are in the video description and always be creating